Hello and welcome back. We're going to do another overnight climate control video, this time in auto mode, front and rear. And that was a suggestion from Michael. So we're going to do it. Okay, I'm just going to put this part in the video. Uh, viewer record button wanted to know if you could hear the motor turning on and off in a video, if that's noticeable. So we'll do a little test with that here. Okay, here's the engine running. Not sure how well you can hear that with all the other noise outside. Okay, so here it is. Same situation outside for the most part and the engine is off. So it's probably hard to tell. Uh, the bottom line is I'm just used to the motor kicking on and off even for sleeping. So to me, it's no big deal, but uh, you might feel differently. And there is a little bit of vibration you can feel um, as it kicks on. All right, let's get the numbers here. It is six o'clock New York time. We've got 211 miles to empty. And again, we're gonna make a change here and try auto mode. Front and rear is in auto. So with auto mode, it's probably blowing not only from the top fence, but probably near your feet too, which is okay. And again, 68 degrees. Outside it is 85, feels like 88, so a little humid out there. Sunset is in about two hours and 45 minutes, but I am parked in the shade for the most part here. So um, I may or may not even put up the, the sun shields. Uh, it's really mostly shady here. So it should get down to around 70. So we'll see how this goes and how much fuel is used compared to my normal default setting of one click on the fan front and rear. So what I noticed right away is there's a little more air coming when it's on auto. The fan is kicked up to, uh, you know, who knows what setting, but more than the lowest click, which is totally fine. So let's see if that makes much of a difference in cost and even comfort. I'll comment on that too in the morning. So, all right, we'll catch up with you. Just a quick note. Uh, before, when I turned on auto, I'm not sure AC was on, but if you hit the AC button, for one, it doesn't light up, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but you can see here that it says AC on right now, and recirculate is off. Normally, that would be lit up in the yellow. All right, just wanted to throw that in there. All right, getting ready to hit the hay here. It has been a little over a couple hours of climate control in auto mode. And our miles to empty is 199 right now. So does it seem like we're using a little more fuel? Maybe, but again, the fan is blowing at a higher rate and it is nice and cool in here. So, all right, we'll see you in the morning. All right, I am up now. We are sleeping with the other vans. Miles to empty is 167. Temperature outside this morning, 68. Humidity of 83%. All right, let's run the numbers. All right, 6 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. is 11 and a half hours. Overnight, it was 85 degrees, dropping to 68. Humid in both cases. Miles to empty, potential miles used, 44. Gas around here is 450 per gallon. That's 1.2 gallons used overnight for a total cost of $5.40. Now divide that by the 11.5 hours, it's 47 cents per hour. So does it cost a little more to use auto mode? Yeah, a little bit. Um, but keep in mind the fan is blowing at a higher rate, both front and rear, so you get more circulation and that might be better for you. So is the extra cost worth it? I guess if you want that extra circulation, yeah. Pay a little more per hour and enjoy the climate control the way you like it. All right, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you in the next video.